Good morning, everybody. Happy August 1st. I have to talk a little bit quiet because the boys are sleeping. But, um, August 1st, it's Brooks's 25th birthday. Um, so I'm letting him sleep for as long as he needs to. He also doesn't feel good. So, we are going to be doing that, and I'm just going to be vlogging, um, a few days this week. Just to have a little bit of content to put up, so I figured it'd be fun to start off the vlog on Brooks's birthday with a cup of coffee. And I can't wait to show you. Um, like, so I set up, like, a cute little happy birthday banner with some balloons and stuff in his office. And I'll show you when it comes out, but it's really cute, so. Um. Yeah, just kind of chilling right now. I have a lot to do today. Um, I have to go to the old apartment, get a shelving unit, put it into my car, drive across the Metroplex to go drop it off at someone's house because I sold it on Facebook Marketplace. And then I have to come home and I have to do my actual job, like my work. And then I have to write an essay that's due tomorrow at midnight. And I haven't even started it. So that really sucks. But um, I could do it. Just knock it out, get it out of the way. And then tonight we are having dinner at 60 Vines to celebrate Brooks. So it's going to be a good day. I'm going to make it a good day. I'm not going to get overwhelmed. And I'm just going to be like intentional with my time and with my efforts and it's all going to be perfect so yeah do you love it Sweet. Yeah. Happy birthday, lovey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, haven't checked in in a few hours, but we have just been working and I've been doing some school and then just kind of re relaxing. Um, but now we're headed to dinner and here's the outfit, kind of cute and casual. Here's Rexy Baby, 25, birthday boy. And it's gonna be delicious. We're going to 60 Vines. I don't know if I already said that earlier. 60 Vines, I'm gonna have a really good glass of wine. Or 60. Or 60 glasses of wine and good dinner. And I'm excited. since like Saturday or Sunday or something like that and it's Wednesday um basically like 
I'm just really not good at pulling out my phone. And also, I don't feel as if I really do anything during my day. So I was like thinking about the videos that I would make and I was like always going to Pilates and and I was talking in the car and I was like on such a grind and then we went on this cruise and I really like fell off of my workouts and of like keeping busy and like caring for myself I guess and I am like feeling the after effects of all of that and I just want to kind of make like I, I want to say that out loud even though you guys like aren't really on the other side quite yet of me I feel as if I'm talking to I mean a small group um, but a group nonetheless and I need a little bit more I guess um, accountability maybe and it's not even like I'm it's it's only because I want to do better for myself I have fallen into a rut with work with vlogging with uh, anything creative and I don't know how to get out and I don't feel like myself and I want to be this happy, vlogging, creative, like, human being that loves her friends and her family and that constantly shows them how much they're appreciated and how much they're valued and I just feel as if like I have not been keeping up with people, I haven't been keeping up with myself, I've been so engulfed in kind of feeling funky that it's almost like I don't have the energy to get myself out of this funk and I think I'm at the point where I'm just I'm over it I'm ready to get back into a routine but I think the hardest part is starting which is true for everything um, but I just wanted to come on here and kind of give that little speech and just tell you guys you know at the end of the day, being human is the most beautiful blessing that we have. And life is tumultuous at times and life is exciting and it's sad and it's heart wrenching, but it's beautiful. And one thing that I truly believe has changed my life is the idea that I really don't need to be such a bitch to myself. Like, for lack of a better word, I don't need to have such high expectations of myself. I don't need to punish myself when I come up short. And the only one really telling me that I'm coming up short is myself. So we really are our own worst enemy and I think I am just holding myself back from greatness and I just wanted to say that to let everyone know that you're not alone and life really is worth the living and it's worth all the pain that comes with because there's so much beauty and love and acceptance that's out there that makes up for the hardness. Um, and I've recently had a really hard time remembering that. So I'm kind of using this moment to talk to myself, not just you guys, and kind of bring a little bit of perspective into the picture. So that's that. And then I also wanted to, on a less serious note, um, talk to you guys. I'm having like, hold on. I'm feeling like once I turned 25, I genuinely had a quarter life crisis and I had a lot of time to kind of self reflect on where I'm at in my life. And I know that 
in a perfect world, I would be able to, you know, have so much grace with myself and say, meet yourself where you're at. Like you have a job, be grateful for that. Be grateful for the life that you have, the relationships that you're in. And though I am, I am stuck. I have these dreams of like, you know, taking like acting classes and signing up for a casting call and submitting Polaroids to a modeling agency and having this YouTube channel that I think like in my head I would love to make a career out of, but it takes a long time to get there and I don't know what I'm doing and I think I'm such a instant gratification seeker which is terrible because nothing good happens immediately for the most part and you have to put your hard work and dedication to things that you believe in and really not have very high expectations but just do it because it's what makes you happy and I think like making videos does make me happy but should it make me even happier so that I'm constantly pulling out my phone and constantly recording? Like, is it something that I'm actually meant to do? And if it's not that, then what am I supposed to do with my life? And isn't that just the number one question that we all have? But I seriously don't even know what direction I'm traveling in when it comes to life. Like, I'm in a wonderful relationship with Brooks and I have my beautiful dog by my side and I know that my parents and my family and friends love me dearly so I've got so much to be grateful for but that doesn't mean that I don't want more for myself and the past few years have been incredibly difficult and I've just had to put a lot of my energy into like taking the next step forward, whatever that looks like. And it may look small to some people, but for me, those steps have been monumental and life-changing. And you don't really see that because I don't really talk about it, which is fine. I don't need to talk about it. I, I know my growth and I, I'm i standing by that and I don't need to share that part, but um, I'm struggling with having purpose in this life like yes I know my life is valuable and I bring something to the table but what it is I don't really know and life seems a little bit mundane at the moment regardless of how much I have to be grateful for like it's okay to want more for yourself and I definitely do but every time I try to come up with something I just don't know how to execute it I don't necessarily think I'm worth whatever that thing is like I think to myself like am I pretty enough to be a model am I talented enough to be an actress and it's kind of hard to put this out into the universe because I mean don't we all have dreams of being an actress or a singer or a model or whatever these glamorized job are don't we all want that at some point in our lives but I'm 25 and I feel like I haven't found my thing yet and I've always wanted to take acting classes to to consider modeling or or even if it's like commercial modeling or something um and it, it's like this nagging thing that has been following me around for majority of my life and I really want to do it, but I'm terrified because what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not pretty enough? What if I'm not talented enough? And that mindset doesn't get you anywhere. It gets you waking up and doing the same thing every single day and asking yourself, when is it going to feel different? When am I going to feel purpose? When, when am I going to feel like what I'm doing is actually worthwhile and creating something beautiful? Like, I think I just need a little bit of encouragement and not just from external people, but like I need to really encourage myself and believe that I truly am worth fighting for. 
So I just wanted to say that. And I wanted to highlight that as cliche as it is, and as many people try to talk about self-care and self-love and self-gratitude uh, or whatever it may be, like, do not fucking give up on yourself. And I'm saying this to you guys as much as I'm saying it to myself, but do not give up on yourself. Fight for what you want and do not let anyone tell you that you can or cannot have something because this world is big enough for all of us and we all hold such a beautiful space. And I'm learning that too. Every, every day I have this battle with myself trying to truly believe that I do hold valuable space in this world. And though I'm not doing so much with my time, though I'm doing the same thing over and over again every day, like that doesn't diminish my worth, that doesn't diminish my value. And that same mindset applies to each and every one of you guys and I think like secondly I just want to say I appreciate however many of you watch my videos and keep up like it's really not about the numbers it's not about the views it's just about me feeling joy doing what I'm doing and you feeling joy watching me do what I do and I just I'm so appreciative for where I'm at in my life right now, even though I want to keep trying new things and keep putting myself out there and keep learning and keep having experiences. Like, again, life is worth the living. It's very fucking beautiful. And I wanna take it by the horns and I wanna make it my bitch. I'm gonna figure it out and it may take me a really long time and every day I'm going to be figuring out something new but I will be taking steps forward and I'm excited for what the future holds and I hope 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 that wherever you guys are at in your life or your relationship with yourself or your relationship with your friends and family like just know that this space right here on this channel in the comments on Instagram texting like the space that we hold together to con connect with one another is never going to go away. So even if I don't talk to you, reach out, befriend me, just like I wanna befriend you. Like, let, let me be someone that you can lean on. Let me be someone that you can talk to, vent to. Like, we all deserve to have that in our life. And I just love you guys so much. I really do. Um, so thank you again for watching this video. I know it was really short and I know that these talking clips are kind of long, but I really hope that you can take away something from what I've said. I really enjoy sitting down and having these conversations, even though it's just me talking to a camera. I genuinely feel as if I'm talking to real people and on some level I kind of am if you're watching this. So reach out. I love you guys. Keep fighting for yourself and yeah, I will see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, share this video with anyone that you think might like it, follow me on Instagram, all that, yada, yada, yada. You know the deal. I love your support and I love the support that you've already been giving me. Um, so thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.